hello guys welcome to this tutorial in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to set up a project for your roadway designs using civil 3d land desktop companion 2009 this is my desktop this is the icon of AutoCAD civil 3d land desktop 2009 I'm going to double click on it it's loading it's coming up it takes a few seconds to just run the program and it pops up and the program is up this is the interface of AutoCAD Civil 3D Land Desktop Companion 2009 this is my draw toolbar this is my modification toolbar these are my dimensions and some other setup that you have this is the icon of AutoCAD Civil 3D Land Desktop Companion so this little window pops up each time you start up AutoCAD Civil 3D Land Desktop Companion 2009, it pops up because I have checked this this little box here, which shows the dialog box at startup. So if you do, if you have checked this box here, this is how yours too is going to be popping up because it makes it easy for you. Because once you open the drawing, it brings this dialog box and you have to select from the projects you have been working on or you want to create a new project now this this place right here it's where you can select like as you see as I, I select to highlight any of the job previously done you can see they are previewed here so but I just want to create a new set of drawing so I'm going to go to new this is my project and it's asking to give me the project name now the name of the project you are working on so that is the name you are going to use I'm working on a project a road project that I'm working on uh, it's called Angelina I like using upper cases as capital letter Angelina Angelina Ambry Ambry Road. So this is the name of the road I'm working on. So I've successfully created the name. So I'm going to go to create project. I'm going to go to create project. It pops up another dialog of project details. Now this is a project prototype. So I'm going to choose we have imperial and we have other, but I'm going to choose default meters because I want to use meters. But if you like using imperial feed and inches you can as well go for your feed and inches you have to rename the project again angelina angelina hambry hambry road as the name of my project you can give a few description of the road uh, maybe yeah, i just want to say the road i just want to say um, the road is located maybe located at maybe Africa something like that just give it a description for you to be able to use the project and I will say okay and the project is created then I will say okay so my project is loading up the project so that we can move on to set up the some informations now if you look at this top of your screen we said oh look at civil 3d line desktop companion project angelina ambry it has taken the name so we have a dot dwg file which is the default for all autocad related drawing projects so the dwg is for the autocad related drawing project file extension name so this pops up load settings so I'm going to choose one is to 2000 as metric you have imperial and metric you can as well take anyone you wish to take but I'm taking one is to 2000 because the bigger the scale the smaller the map so uh, my map is going to be small because roadways are normally very lengthy so you have to take a bigger map so that the road will be the map will be able to accommodate the road so I'm going to say next so units like now I have the linear to the feet or meters but I'm taking meters so that's meters I have degree and rad I'll as well go through it and choose the appropriate one 
Now this linear, I have three, I have a precision to be displayed. So I have three there. So if I remove three and put two, it displays. Now look at the preview here. The preview here begins to give me 0 0.12, but if I remove this and ask three, it gives me 0 0.123. So which is, these are in three decimal places. So I want every of my values that we produce here to give me three decimal places so this is how it's going to be previewed uh, distance is going to give me three decimal places elevations which is can be referred to heights also will give me three decimal places my coordinates and the angles so i'm going to go to scale i've already choose one is to 2000 on my horizontal scale now if you check i have horizontal and vertical scales so my vertical horizontal scale is along the length of the road why the vertical is along the cross section which is going to be for the profile so this is for the plan this is for the profile that's what it means so if my horizontal scale i have 2000 it then is my vertical scale which is on my profile i'm going to have one is to 200 so my vertical scale is going to my vertical map is going to be bigger than my horizontal so this is what it means so i'm going to say i'm good because i've selected it before you can go for one is to 1000 one is to 100 still okay so i'm going to choose this sheet size this is a3 sheet size so i'm going to choose that i'm going to say okay i'm going to say next so the zone this is a very very important setting that is required to be done and this you have to give proper attention to this because if your zone is wrong the coordinates that are going to be produced by your drawing for the personnel that are going to go to the site is going to be wrong also so and that could be very very disappointing to those and it could tarnish your integrity for design so you have to be very careful and know the information the the, the zone in which you are doing if you're doing it in the us you can as well look if you're doing it in india you can as well look for that and the zone yeah but i'm doing a drawing in africa so i'm going to a drawing in africa in nigeria so i'm going to go to nigeria this is nigeria now these are the available coordinate system please make sure you know yours and uh, try to know the particular one to use so this that's where I'm going to use. So I'm using this reference point for that of Nigeria. Sorry, I'm using 32. So I'm using this as a reference point for every survey on this particular country, Nigeria. So I'm going to say next. The page orientation. This answer is good. All the settings are okay. So I'm going to say next. These are the default. So default. Default is good. So I'm going to say okay. So this is this for my textile. I can just choose a, I say choose standard. Standard is okay. I like standard and all of that is good. I'm okay. These are my sheet borders. You don't need to bother about this because you can always change this border when you will want to print. So I'm going to say next. So back to where we started. So I'm going to say one is to 2000. Then I'm going to say finish. Then there's a preview here. So you're going to look at what you have done, but I have done a good job. So the settings are okay, and I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to say, okay, take them and use them. So it comes up a description field. This is good. I'm good. It's nice. I like it. So I'm going to say, okay. So this is your project has been successfully set up. This is it, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Do give us a thumbs up. If you like our video and also subscribe to our channel to see more of our videos.